But first, little by little, it's a topic we've talked about more and more, and it was the topic of conversation today in Buffalo, mental health, and more specifically, the ability to get mental health care. The state's attorney general held a hearing about that in the city today, and Channel 2's Claudine Ewing was there. Now she's here to talk more about what was said, certainly something that affects everybody. Everybody. Nobody is not talking about this topic. And the hearing lasted over three hours at the downtown library. We heard from lawmakers. We heard from doctors. We heard from families dealing with mental health issues at home. People were bearing their souls today, holding up pictures of loved ones. It was moving at times, but this hearing was for the state attorney general, Letitia James, to hear about challenges in the system and hear what people think are the solutions. The entire mental health system across the state is being examined. The fact of the matter is, is what do we have in Erie County? ECMC and Brylin. Is, if Brylin is less than 50 beds, ECMC is not very many either. There, I mean, not a ton, again, for a, for a metro area of this size. And so, and again, I think on top of that too, the, the horror stories that come out of those places. But we don't have the infrastructure in place, the reimbursement in place. I'm a federally qualified health center. I can't have two services delivered in one day. So when Mr. Orr's Jennifer comes in to see me and she tells me that she's ready to kill herself, but I'm also tending to maybe her chronic disease and I need my behavioral health team to come and see them. I can't bill for both of those services. Uh, I'm going to refer to her as Dr. Rick. What you heard is just a sample of what we heard today. What it showed is that the system in some cases is broken and in need of more services for those with mental health issues. And tonight at 530, I'll have more on this hearing. Very moving, very interesting today. Yeah, and we heard a mention about ECMC and its CPEP unit. Was there anyone there to talk about that? There was someone there from ECMC, and they did talk about it. What is clear is that, yes, there's a shortage of workers. Yes, there's a shortage of beds. But what's needed is a change because mm -hmm. there are a lot of people out here on the streets, and no one can ignore this. We've seen them out there. They need help. They need services. But what they're saying is, where are the services? Right. They can't get it. Or they get there, and then they're out within just a few hours. Are you truly being helped? Right. That's and you, you think about how many stories we've done mm -hmm. where you talk about asking for help. And so you have people maybe a little more willing to do it, but then it's hard to get the help that they need. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see what comes out of this hearing. Will there be true solutions that work All to right. help the system? Conversation continuing later on tonight. Claudine, thank you.